Said the Furuq with an RX Muscle News update as the 2023 New York Pro has let out. Antonio Burton is the big winner, taking the title and punching his ticket to the Olympia. Burton, by many accounts, was the favorite coming into the show. And as we can see here, he certainly lived up to the billing, bringing top-notch conditioning, clean lines, a good amount of pop. He was by far the most complete bodybuilder on stage, and he knew it. If you were there in person or saw prejudging over the live stream, he knew it. It was his show to lose. He's, he's got that on-stage presence, charisma, that big smile, and, and he knew from the moment that he walked out on stage. With the win, Burton clinches a second consecutive trip to the Olympia, having punched his Olympia qualification last year at the Legion Pro. Formerly of the 212, Tonio will be making his second Olympia appearance in the Open class. That brings us to the runner-up, and I don't want to say maybe the biggest surprise of the show, but certainly someone who had a ton of intrigue going into the show and someone who wildly surpassed his pre-show expectations, and that's Stu Sutherland, a.k.a. Beef Stu, as he's known to most of the bodybuilding world. Stu, displaying quality size, really took up a good amount of space up on that stage, a wide look on the front and back double, on the lat spread, he certainly has pro quality size and density. That much is certain. He just ran into a more seasoned pro, Antonio Burton, who had some bells and whistles that put him over the top. That said, Beef Stew left a lot to be impressed about in this his second pro appearance. The 2022 Mr. USA will next take his talents to the West Coast and vie for an Olympia spot at the Cal Pro. Taking third was Yosef Kvetin from the Czech Republic. Now, this is someone who's seriously impressive to look at on and off the stage. If you saw this past week's episode of Ask Dave, Dave Palumbo talked about how Samson Dauda stands in, stands out rather, that he's tall and has an athletic physique. And, you know, he stands out in everyday situations. And I thought the same uh, for Kvetin, who if you saw him in the halls of the host venue, the, the Teaneck Marriott, he just stands out. And, and on stage carries a ton of wow size, but... You know, with that height, he fills out that frame well, and there aren't a lot of gaps. So impressive, impressive showing for Yosef Kabatin. Fourth place went to Canada's Joe Seaman, who, similar to Yosef Kabatin, is a tall, towering figure who packs a lot of dense muscle with some next-level pop, especially on those biceps. Uh, big and prominent legs, good detail for a taller bodybuilder. He's a big dude, and you know, presented himself very well in a lineup that had good conditioning up and down the lineup. And rounding out the top five, Eric Wood, who may have had the most balanced package in this lineup. Very aesthetic physique, truly next level conditioning. Uh, the, really the big takeaway, incredible flow. You know, kind of a bit of a throwback in that regard. So all in all, for a lineup that didn't feature much in terms of quote-unquote headline names, this lineup certainly did impress, obviously, the two standouts being Tony Burton and Stu Sutherland, but you can't walk away from the show not impressed by the overall level of conditioning and competitors that flat out came in shape. So congrats again to Tony Burton on clinching another Olympia appearance, to Beef Stu on a highly, highly impressive second pro appearance, and to a lineup that's represented very well on one of bodybuilding's most prestigious stages. Dave Palumbo and Chris Aceto will provide deeper analysis on the open class and the other divisions from tonight's New York Pro tomorrow on an all-new episode of Heavy Muscle Radio. I'm Sadiq Faruqi. Keep it locked to RX Muscle.